Howdy do, Karen Adamski here with shamamama.com and I wanted to do a quick share with you. My son recently asked me to bless some uh, personal items of his and um, I'm thrilled to do that for him. So today I'm doing a quick blessing and building a crystal grid to bring in an abundance of the energy that he's looking for. He's asked me to bless these items with an abundance of good energy, an abundance of luck and clarity, inner knowing, strong intuition, and all wrapped up with a big, big, big charge of energy. So today, I've decided to build a grid around his personal items, and I'm gonna be using jade, mahogany obsidian, optical clear calcite, green opal, amethyst, and it's all going to be charged from the center by a beautiful piece of moldavite. Such a powerful stone. So I know that by building this grid with all of this crystal energy, it's gonna really bring in that abundance of energy that my son is looking for. Of course, paired with a number of prayers and blessings and good wishings and good juju. So let me take you through my building of this beautiful crystal grid. Today I'm choosing to build my grid in a circle. So in the very center of the circle, I'm placing my son's personal items along with a written prayer. The first ring of stones that I'm placing is made of green jade. And I'm placing this for the energy of abundance and good luck and good health. And green jade is typically the color of grass and leaves and it fosters wholesome and steady growth of one's chi. Next, I'm placing some mahogany obsidian needles for protection and grounding. Next, I'm creating a ring of clear optical calcite. This is really great for intuition, clarity, navigation, and clear-mindedness. I'm placing green opal on the top of each piece of calcite. Green opal is really great because it brings in the energy of both the ocean and the earth. It's very balancing and cooling stone. Next, I am placing smoky quartz. And smoky quartz, in addition to being great for healing, is also really great for grounding and ridding one of negative energy. I'm bringing in a little bit more mahogany obsidian. And again, this is great for grounding and protection. Um, and these are arrowheads. And I'm actually using these, um, pointing the arrowhead in toward the personal items, um, pointing that energy back um, and aligning it with the, uh, the obsidian needles that I used earlier. So you're really drawing those energies together. And I had four arrowheads left over, so I'm placing one in each direction, the east, the south, the west, and the north. And finally, on the outer ring of this crystal grid, I'm placing amethyst. And amethyst is really great for protection and purification and divine connection. And check this out. This is Moldavite. This is a piece from my personal collection. And this is probably the most powerful stone that I own filled with energy. You can actually feel it pulsating. So this is the perfect stone to put right in the very center of my grid to power up everything here. My next step is to kind of charge this grid with energy and I can feel the energy with my hands coming from my hands. I can feel the energy connecting. Um, but that's because I've been doing this for a while. If you are not able to feel with your hands at this time, you can always use a crystal wand. It's almost like um, you use this wand to stir the energy, just as if you were stirring um, a pot, if you were making 
a stew or making pudding. You just kind of connect the energies and stir them all in that same direction, going clockwise, bringing in good energy. You can feel it building. Maybe not the first time you try it, but over time, you'll start to feel it. There's a thickness in the air, charge in the air. And then finally, a little bit of drumming. drumming shout out to the south, to the east, to the north, right here where you're sitting, and back to the east, finishing in the south. Aho. Pretty easy, right? And so beautiful, so meaningful with the placement of every stone. I'm thinking of that energy that's seeping in to the items here for my son. It's really a beautiful ritual, a beautiful um, tool, a beautiful way to really amp up and focus energy in a certain direction. Really awesome manifestation tool. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, let me know. And in the meantime, I wish you and yours many blessings. May you always walk in beauty. Namaste.